Hello, today I want to talk about the concept of I want to because everything is what Hello, today I want to talk about a concept of I am where I want to be because everything else was in my imagination too expensive so far. And this is a concept from Jens Corson from Germany, which is basically saying that the place or the location or the life where you are right now is your own decision. And it's a decision based on uh, values you compared and therefore you say, um, every other decision I could have made was maybe stressing me out was taking me too much effort and I went for the cheaper way. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Oliver. I'm a German living in Switzerland, run four KFC restaurants and I'm a volunteering fireman. So I'll give you an example. Right now I'm walking in the sun to pick up a monitor with some person who was selling it on a platform like uh, Tutti in Switzerland, like uh, Craigslist, eBay, whatever you call it. And Right now, um, I'm out here because I decided not to send it by post, not to um, do it later. I decided to do it now. Simple fact, nothing crazy about it. Shall work. But many other times we are at a position where we are mourning about the fact we are in. Like an example, if you are in the train and it's full and you have to seat almost on the other person's lap, it's your decision because you didn't want to have a car you didn't want to go earlier you didn't want to go later you didn't want to ask it. it's all been your decision but we tend to say yeah we have no other option what should I do and if we think about it most of the time there is another option there is something we can do about it we can either say we take an earlier train we can say we, we ask our boss we talk to him about it we swap with a colleague, we look for another job. I mean, there's so many options what we can do, but we didn't want it because it took a bit of effort by uh, having phone calls. It could take effort mental-wise to overcome the fear to talk to someone, etc., etc. And as soon as we accept that the, 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 the location we are at has been our decision, then it, for me at least, and out of the experience of people I'm talking to, it's mostly easier to accept it, to say like, hey, I wanted it that way. And then you can decide still for the future that you want to have it another way and that you want to walk and go somewhere else and to do it else. And, it's, um, and the hard fact from Jens Korsen is it starts in the morning. You decide every morning if you want to get up or not. If you don't get up for one day, the boss might call. The second day, your boss might still call. The third day, the boss might not call anymore. You might receive a letter, etc. And at a certain point, someone might call the police or might call the hospital because maybe something is wrong with you. But to, so far, it's still all your decision. And the consequences out of it are your decision as well. So you are in charge. And we, we all know this examples, I mean, for food and drinking, at least I knew it from my childhood, where people were telling me like, yeah, but you, you should be happy about what you have, etc. I, I do see all this, but I think the most valuable part in here is the decision. The decision out of the opportunities and options you have, not the decision for some future, a dream-like whatever opportunity. I do understand that this is not really the fact, that it's not really there. But out of the decisions you have, you make the call. And um, there might be decisions involved where you say, mm, I see the decision, but it's, it's still not making me happy. But make sure that you make the best decision out of the options you have. Um, and the other factor here, what I've read, I don't know, it was a YouTube, I think, it was a video on this. You should make the best long-term decision. No, it was Twitter, it was Naval Ravikant who was telling, 
saying like that the most of the good decisions are long-term based or the best decisions are long-term based and if you have a look at this factor within those decisions imagining the uh, future outcome out of a short-term decision is a, de is a factor or result you want to bear or you don't want to bear and if you want to bear it go go for it drop out of school don't go to work etc but if you say like no that's that's even worse than what I have right now you already made a call and then you can work peu à peu day by day on making small decisions or even larger ones to change the future outcomes out of your decisions you will have to make by then that could be going to language classes reducing the salary for a certain portion right now and I have the most respect for a lot of my workers who decided to talk to me to talk to us to talk to the management to reduce their contracts to to leave money on the table let's say to learn a language I mean that that takes a lot of courage to ask your boss it takes a lot of courage to decide for yourself to reduce your income but this is a future um, investment and they were they were happy to do so and we are happy to encourage them to do so and help them but um, this is all what you have to do that's what I have to do as well when it comes to YouTube I have to make an investment of time I have to make an investment of money although I encourage everyone who starts with YouTube to better invest less in gear and invest more in time because many many opportunities in video recording are still there with less val value of equipment but putting them in a little more effort into the recording process or you just find the right calls and right equipment and inform yourself up front which I should even have done a little better because I went with more equipment and also more difficulties let's say and now I'm ending up using the least friction equipment I'm not sure if it's the best decision but it is a decision with the best outcome video wise in terms of quantity and in terms of mistakes being made with the knowledge I have now I would probably start recording more videos in the beginning instead of buying more gear so I hope that helps, that the decision is yours. It is your decision as well to subscribe to the channel if you want to be informed when I upload something else. And if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. I'm happy about it, it helps me. And it doesn't cost you a lot, just a click of a finger. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.